Hello and welcome to another episode of Citadel Guard Adventures. This is very a fan of the Citadel Guard of Gondor. On the Gate of Stangard, you might remember on the previous episode we found out Stanrick was uh, found dead. And we are investigating that. But we'll need to go to the abandoned farmhouse where Gata and some other men are located. They, they fled Stangard, so we need to find them. That's where we're going right now. Um, you might have noticed I have this a Starlit Crystal Maximum Level 75. I got it on another alt and I'm dividing, debating on whether or not use it on the sword that I already have. Um, because yeah, I don't have a level 75 sword. The one that I have equipped is a level 71. But I do like the legacies that I have on it, and what I've been able to do with it, so yeah, I'm not sure if, if that might be worth it. But I have it in there, just in case. I also got the Riddermark Mark Starlit Crystal, but that's maximum level 85, so I'm saving that for later. And last but not least, I had forgotten that I... Equipped zeal momentarily to level it up and I hadn't switched that for loyalty, but I did I now did so my morale is a little bit higher than than before And that's basically it That's the state of things for For today We're gonna we're almost there at the abandoned farmland and uh, we'll see We'll, we'll need to investigate Stanrick's death. Here you can see the farm. There on the horizon. We're almost there. And with this we will finish the quest of Errolsmith did. So we have here Tadwine. Of course he would come here to work the land. He told us he would find a way of coming here so that the the crops they, they wouldn't lose the crops. And here is Gata as well. What brings you to these lands? Beriathan, you received my message. That is the only good that has come of this mess. You are truly welcome here, my friend. Tanrik is dead, and I cannot believe it was an accident. He was as healthy a man that ever walked, and Citric will not give particulars on how he died. I suspect treachery, so I escaped what I could. Tatwine and one other came with me. The Rohirrim will need your aid. I hope to hold this farm long against the yields that befell Stangard when Citric arrived. This place can be a haven to all who come here, and I will defend it with my own life. I wish to see us well supplied for the coming months, and I have been gathering ore and wood whenever I get a chance. Would you be willing to add some to our stores? Uh, yeah, um, what about you, Todd? What do you want us to do? Success depends upon our strength. Do you see, Beriathan? I have freed myself from Stangard, and now your efforts will not have been in vain. I am a farmer in my heart, and this is where I belong. I do not know if I will ever return to Stangard, but many in Errolsmith who want for food need only ask. It has been far too long since crops were grown in these dark lands. Would you care to tend the farm for a while? I find it very tranquil work. Of course, so... Gonna harvest crops... Uh, pull wheats... Collect X. And once again, doing this sort of farm work with this music is, is so fitting, so nostalgic. It hits all the right notes. Do 
the only negative aspect that I can think of is that the radius in which this sunk's place is really small. But other than that, yeah, it's great. to Tatwine. Our mission is dire. I cannot thank you enough for inspiring me to do this, Veryathan. No matter what the consequences for my living standard, I believe that this is right. What you did for us was right. And there we go, completed quests of the Earl's Mid. So let us check this really quick. What else do we have here? Reputation, Veriathan, Hero of Aerosmith, uh, Fidelity, which is now level 35, 10 Lotro points. Uh, golden Token of the Anduin. You have done a great deal to assist the Rohirrim in Aerosmith. And the 10 Lotro points. Awesome. So let us check in here. Uh, quests of the Great River. We are three out of seven. And now we only need to uh, this, gather the wood and the ore for Gata. No, this is not the wood. It looks so similar to, to the branches, but no, that's not it. That's a small area. Back to Gata, of course. What business have you with the Rohiri? Hail, friend. Ah, this is a very good supply. I appreciate your great efforts on our behalf, as always. Rohirrim have need of your services. The tower near here has long been under the control of men I do not consider trustworthy. I have seen many carts of goods enter full and leave empty, things I believe intended for a standard. A few weeks ago, a long-standing friend of mine was enlisted to join them. Would you be so good as to find out what he knows? I fear to approach the tower, for I am wanted for a treason at standard. My friend's name is Switwulf. Okay, very good. So yeah, you remembered I told you we would come to that tower eventually and we would do some kind of spying work on it. So the time has come for that. But I don't remember exactly 
what, what is it that we'll need to look for inside here. Let us check. Our mission is dire. You are a friend of Gada. That is well. I do not feel any kindness towards the happiness surrounding this place, nor towards the men who serve here. Our success depends upon our strength. Gada's concerns are well founded. There is much going on here that Stanry could not have known about when he was alive, for I am sure he would have not approved. I can let you explore the tower, but I fear to rouse the suspicion of my peers. There is much evidence here of Citrix's dire corruption. Find any such evidence you can and bring it back to Gada. Hopefully it will aid his cause. This map of the Great River region is covered with markings and symbols indicating plans for the future, though several key pieces have been ripped off and are currently missing. It is likely that these pieces have been distributed among the guards of the tower. What, do I need to fight the guards of the tower? That doesn't seem very likely, or very stealthy at all. This blue scrap of cloth strikes you as odd. It does not fit or belong with anything else you have seen the Rohirrim wear. Perhaps there is more to be found that would indicate a possible source of this strange fabric. I think I remember what, what that points towards. Do not let myself be seen. That much is clear. That don't mind me. Oh. There are a lot of chests to look into. Either. And this is gonna take a while <laughs> because these guards come and go really fast. Okay, I'm using one more map fragment. Please let me find it fast. Okay, found all the map fragments. Gata will want to hear of the symbols and drawings on the assembled map. Okay. There's a flag here. This flag is used by archers to determine range and wind conditions of their target so that they can adjust their aim. Such flags are likely placed in the fields around the tower. You should look for them from the parapets. A very nice view, so let me let me double check this. Okay, so no. where do I need to look exactly? This is a good place to look for the flags. Oh my god, you scared me! The flags have been placed to the north and northwest. Okay. Loose fabric scrap. Gata will be intrigued to hear that the defenses are aimed against Stangard. Well, I am interested in that too. Now, where am I supposed to find the rest of the blue fabric in here. I don't see it. Because of course this is what we have already used to discover it. Ah, there is this door. Maybe if we go down here we can find this. Yeah. Nothing interesting in this barrel. 
on this one either. At least it seems we don't need to worry about the guards inside here. body is contorted as if it died in pain, but there are no obvious signs of external damage. The green foam around its mouth seems suspicious. You should search for signs of what the rat may have ingested to cause its death. found a blue robe unlike anything you have ever seen. Yeah, now we need to find clues. Gata will want to investigate the blue robes further. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he will. Now, gotta go back into the tower, it seems, to look for... the ing ingredients of what the rat ingested. Yeah, here. But once again, these guards are guarding this. Nothing of interest in this container. Yeah, let's go. A glass on this shelf has a green foam in the bottom. Alright. None of these glasses stand out to you? The container has some herbs that could be used to create a poison. Gata will want to hear that experiments with poison are underway. Will you aid the horse lords? Aye, this is everything I had noticed as well. I do not think anything has been missed. I was starting to worry that I was losing my wits, but I am relieved that you have reacted as I did. The Rohirrim have need of your services. God, I was right to trust you. I will remain here and keep an eye on this place. Take what you have found back down to the farm and show Gada, for he will be very interested. And as you have seen by the quest reward we're about to receive, this is the end of the quest lines in Aerosmith. I'm very curious to see how all this wraps up. brings you to these lands. Ah, how interesting. This does not bode well at all, for you have found a great deal more dire evidence than I expected. Jolene Moral and Power. So maybe this is a good one to keep. Agility, Vitality, Critical Rating. I will need to double check this too. And this is a good bubble. Will you aid the Rohirrim? Now that you have seen our new mission here in carrying on what you began, I hope that you will help me one last time. If I return to Stangard, it will be my death, but I could not serve under such a man as Sithric. Stanric was my commander. I fear that there was treachery involved in Stanric's death, Veriathan, but I cannot go back to investigate. No one will talk to me. They will only arrest me or kill me on sight. I hope that you can discover what really happened. Of course, we're gonna master in Stangard. Let me take this bubble that I just got. And I'm gonna also take my pocket item in here so that I I, I remember to check them both. 
In fact, I can do that. I can do that just right now. I equip this. I, I don't want to level up. I just want to double check which one will give me the most benefit. Uh, this bubble will... I will lose some critical rating, but maybe I can gain something out of it. No, but it doesn't seem it does. I think I'd still prefer this this pocket item that I have in here. This bubble is useful for this effect it gives up on use. Some extra agility and um, critical hit chance. But even then I don't think that's that's enough. What business have you with the Rohirrim? I am glad to see you again, my friend. Things are not well here since our good leader passed. How first Gata? I wish he would return to set things right. Gata told me he suspected treachery in Stanbrick's death, but I have not the courage to ask anyone. Too many here have grown loyal to Sithric. We need to talk to Berenstain Uthrat, Wada, Atulf, Adalbert. Savert fears the truth in Gata's suspicions of murder, but is afraid to ask of it to anyone. Thankfully for us, we are not afraid. You're a good man, Athel. I hope you... Nobody saw what happened, but Stenric seemed healthy and inspired just before his death. In fact, he kept talking about you. He was trying to motivate people to do what was right and not what was ruled. He felt that the council was too slow to make decisions, and Stangard had suffered too long. And it seemed that the men responded very well to his guidance. Then, he was dead. Atulf notes that Stenric died just as he grew inspired to incite change in Stangard. What about you, Wada? What do you have to say about all this? What business have you with the Rohirrim? I... I do not wish to speak too loudly on this issue, but I agree with Gada. I was half tempted to live with him, but I feared the repercussions. Things are worse than ever now, and I think Stanrick was trying to stand up to Sithric. That is, right before he died. It is strange, is it not? Wada once supported Sithric, but begins to suspect corruption and treachery. I'm oh, glad to see you're also seeing the truth behind all this, Wada. Bernstein, Uthrat, Adalbert. All of those three guys are on the upper level, so let's go there. Why are you bothering me? You! Citric is wanting to have words with you. Come along nice and quietly to the log house. Yeah, you wish. You have knocked the guard unconscious as he tried to arrest you. It would be best to move along quickly. Will you aid the horse lords? You again! I would be careful if I were you. I hear Sithric has the guards in order to take you in for treason and trespassing. But you asked about Stenric, and indeed it is curious that he died so suddenly. Not ill, not frail, strong and hale as an ox. I did not see it myself, so I cannot say more. Princeton does not know much, but finds it strange that Stenric died so suddenly. What's your need? You, Sithric has wanted to have words with you. Come along nice and quietly to the log house, you two? Okay. Let us dance. You have knocked out the guard unconscious as he tried to arrest you, best to move along quickly. We have talked to all the people we needed. So we can go back to Savard. Yeah, there is something really fishy going on in here.
Sorry, I just can't help it, but I love all these outfits so much. And people usually come with a lot of interesting creations, like this helm in here. It does fit with the Gondorian team really well. Yeah, I always enjoy seeing what the other players come up with. Citric order guards to arrest you. Why? I heard nothing of that. And how suspicious that nobody saw Stenric die or even saw him sick. He was in perfect health just the day before. I am beginning to grow roused, Verathan. The investigation should not stop now. Rohirrim have need of your services. The circumstances surrounding Stendrick's death are most suspicious, do you not agree? You should investigate his house near the Met Hall. If you see anything suspicious, you should by all means investigate further. Just be careful not to be seen, Breathan. I worry that all of Stangard will be seeking your capture. You should move with as much stealth as you can, Master. So... Oh. The question in there is how exactly, because I need to pass right next to the med hall to, to be able to, to enter the house. Oh god, I need to avoid some of these guys. through here yeah you see something glinting on the floor of Stanrick's home a key a key it might unlock doors in the lock house so that's where we need to go next and still not let ourselves be seen ask read why his jail keys were on the floor of Stanrick's home. King Red glances from side to side with a look of panic on his face. Citric tells me I will be committing treason if I tell of what passed. You found the hint they left behind though. Stendrick is not dead. Citric is ordering him kept below. The guards and I were ordered to lock him away, so we did. Citric said he would have Stendrick killed if I did not help, so I complied. I will not stop you from writing this wrong. I cannot believe I ever trusted such a man as Citric. Okay, within the lock house and alive. That's the relief. Here. What business have you with the Rohirrim? Beriathan, I cannot believe you found me. Yeah, you better believe it. Of course I was gonna find you. I was not gonna leave you like this. The Rohirrim will need your aid. Citric is a lying, greedy, power-hungry traitor. I must have justice for what was done here. He and I may disagree, but imprisonment and death have never been warranted. But perhaps it is time I stand up for what is really right for Stangard and risk breaking the law at last. Free me from these bonds, Beryathan. Come, my friend. Let us go and end this now. Sithric must pay for what he has done to me and to Stangard. Sithric, emissary of Theoden rules in Stonrik's place among rumors of foul play, and Stangard lies in disarray. Not anymore. Stonrik is free, and now Citric must pay for his crimes. Our mission is dire. Free at last! Thank you, Varyathan. I cannot believe the gall of Citric, nor how deep corruption runs in his veins. It is time to take back my city. It appears that I am further in your debt, Breathan. Yeah, don't mention it. Let us go. Cedric and his guards must have given me a sleeping draught. 
He could not bear that we were being productive again. Before I throw him in the stocks, I want to know why. Why is he here? Why has he gone to such lengths to cripple us completely? I am weak, but I hope you will help me. It is time to take back Stangard and win the hearts of my men. Will you join me? You don't even have to ask. Let us go. What brings you to these lands? Go rally the men, and I will make my way to the Met Hall to confront Sithric. The men are often in the inn at this time of night. Meet me at the Met Hall when you can. I don't have the strength to fight Sithric alone now. I have not eaten or slept since I was locked up down here. And Rook wants you to rally the men of Stangar while he makes his way to the main hall, yeah. Gara and the others left because Sithric is corrupt. I hear he left because Sithric is a murderer. Shh, that's so loud, you fool! Will you aid the horse but swords? Berithan, what are you doing here? Sithric has men looking for you at this very moment. You should run. Why have you returned, Fred? It must be urgent if you're risking so much. Okay. Athel and two other guys. Let us go. Tandrick is alive! I cannot believe Citric would stoop to such lies to secure his power here. And for what? To starve us out and cripple us? Come in, let us join Stanbrick and Beriathan. To the mid hole! Uh, here we have Stanbrick, and there we have Sithric, Adalbert, and Uthrat. My god, are you three persistent guys? Like, seriously, let it go. Come here, live here, please, and get on the way of the picture. Um, not yet, at least. Let me grab, yeah, a few snaps of this. So, this is from Stanrick's perspective. But this is also from Stithrick's perspective. Okay. Our mission is dire. Beriathan, I must ask to borrow your strength this night. It looks to me like Citric does not intend to go down without a fight. You shall never get away with what you did, Citric. We now have witnesses to your lies. By the law of Felden King, I demand that you arrest all of them. Kill them if you must. We will defend Stanrick, Beriathan. Fight well. What are you waiting for, you cowards? Do the king's bidding at once. Yes, sir. Okay. I mean, this didn't work out for you the last time, Adalbert. What makes you think this is going to be different? Please stop. I yield. You! What are you waiting for, hmm? I am sorry, sir, but this is wrong. Trayson! Do you think you will find mercy at Edoras when you are tried by Grima for your defiance? Forgive me, Veriathan. You will all pay. I'm not afraid of you, man. No. Our mission is dire. You did it, Beriathan. 
Citric will be locked up, for, for his proper place is in a prison. Stangar will be made right at last, and it is all thanks to you. There is nothing left for you to help with. You have freed us from Citric's mad corruption at last. Talk to Stenric inside, I mean, hole, I, I would assume. Our mission is dire. You have my gratitude and the lasting friendship of Stangard for what you have done, Briathan. You will always be welcome among the men of Stangard. Please, take this as a token of my appreciation. I hope to see more of you here at Stangard, Briathan for things will be improving again for my men, no matter what the consequences with the king. Out of the betrayer, no. Eh. What about... No. Ah, let us take any. Will you aid the Rohirrim? Do you have a moment, Verathan? In all of our recent turmoil, there is something that completely escaped my memory. To the east lies Parth Kilbrand and, more importantly, one of my men, Brevard. I sent him out with a peasant to gather reeds for Stangard, but he has yet to return. Brevard means well, but sometimes he fails to see the importance of, of small tasks. It would mean a great deal to me if you would track him down. He should be at a small camp in northern Parth Kilbrand, just outside Thinglad. You have my thanks. And of course I'll do that, but first... Um, where's the Great River? Uh, no. The Limelight Gorge. You might remember we also have this quest for the Limelight Gorge. Um. We were asked to talk with Captain Agilbert. Uh, for the Limelight Gorge. The specifics right now elude me. But we know where we need to go, and and yeah, I think I'm gonna do this before moving towards Parth Kilibrand. We have already discovered the Stable Master location. Uh, we are on level with that area, level 75. And it might be challenging, but I'm up for the challenge, and, and, and who knows, maybe it's not even that challenging. Now, supposedly there is a quest in here, but I believe this is just the task board. Do I have something here that I can use? Not at hardwood, no. Thick branches, no. Blotchy skins. I do have some, but not too many. Uh, decorative store sheets, yeah. Fading essences, no. Glass tea carpuses, I don't think so. Marked fur, sparkling dust, prismatic scales, punctor shields. Um, pickled ears. Sticky goo, big tails. We have many of that, uh, but I don't know how much do we need. Standard reputation, so I much rather wait until I get a few task items for the limelight. Welcome and well met, my friend. Yeah, let us go there. Let us talk to Captain Agilbert. And let us see what is there for us to find in there. Will you aid the horse lords? What is that? You want to explore the gorge? That is folly and then some, unless you plan to lead a whole company of stalwarts with you. But I see in your eyes that you are not the sort to be so easily dissuaded. Well, do not blame me when some troll uses you for a football, or a spider the size of a horse has you dangling as a snack in its larder. Tell me, did the men of Stangard put you up to this? Because if they did, it is not funny anymore. Three lads this week alone have gone down there trying to prove their worth, and that will be the last we see of them. Enough is enough. I will tell you what. You go talk with Sigalom over there. He has a tale or two to tell about the gorge back before we stop patrols down into it. Our mission is dire. The gorge? Oh, aye. I have been down there many times. Not so much in the last couple of years, but we used to patrol it regularly. Pretty place, really. But it has always been a bit queer. Strange things there. I would swear that the trees had moved from one patrol to the next, 
or that some boulder had shifted to face north, or all of the birds would suddenly get all quiet on a midsummer's day. That was before those great cursed trolls arrived, of course. They crawled up out of the rocks or down from the mountains. I could not say which, but they are a handful for even a band of men. Fortunately, they do not much like the sun. It has been overcast down in the gorge a lot lately, but they are still too scared of it to wander as far from their caves as Tangard, so that is a blessing. It was after the trolls arrived that we saw something that really gave the men a nasty turn. We were watching from a safe distance as one of those great roots was lumbering along, when it took a swing at some old fir tree, and the accursed thing came alive! Vines and branches wrapped up around the troll, and there was such a to-do as we have never seen. We had not been imagining that the trees down there wander about. They do walk, you see, and they had been watching us all those years. That was the last patrol we did down there, and you could not pay any man of us to go back down there again. What business have so, you with the do you still want to head down there? It is your life to lose, I suppose. New deed. Quests of the Limelight Gorge. We need to complete 20 of them as well. So let us check. Our success depends upon our strength. A few days ago, you we saw us. a pair of elves headed down to the gorge under cover of darkness. They did not seem to be trying to hide, but by the time we noticed them, they were already well past us. We did not dare go after them. The way they were dressed, I would say they must have been servants of the sorcerers of the Golden Woods to the north. They have no idea why they would come down here, though, and as long as they stay away from Stangard, I am not of much mind to interfere with them. Still, it is my duty to keep an eye on what is going on down there, so if you should happen upon them and survive, I would be interested to know what those two are up to. The Rohirrim will need your aid. Something you could look into while you are in the gorge is a band of dwarfs that headed down there about a week ago. You see, there is an old sawmill in the gorge along the river. It has been abandoned for a few years now because of the troubles in the gorge. These dwarves heard about the sawmill and their eyes lit up with grit, no doubt. They believed they were just a sword to get it working again and do business up in Stangard from it. A fine enough endeavor if the gorge were not crawling with all manner of dwarf devouring beasts. I do not guess that the trees themselves will be too kindly to folk trying to run a sawmill either, now that I think of it. Anyway, if you should run into these dwarves and they are still alive, See if you can convince them to come up out there. It is not worth their lives to get a simple meal up and running. If they are dead, well, I would be obliged if you would let us know. There is not much we can do, but I like to keep track of such things. Our success depends upon our strength. We had a small band of prospectors and fortune hunters pass through Stangard a month or so ago. They had brought some old dwarf made prospectors map of the gorge. It must have been 20 years old or more, if it was not fraudulent. They wanted to head down into the gorge and investigate the old prospecting sites. We told them not to waste their time, but I guess they had already spent much coin on the fool's map, so they insisted on heading down all the same. For the first week or so, they got on alright, set up some sort of camp, made a few runs into town for supplies, but we have heard nothing recently. It has been a while and I do not have high hope that you will find them alive. But if you can find out what happened to them, it would take some weight off my mind. But there we go, it seems. The prospector's shack. The elves, the dwarves. <laughs> so for a mortally dangerous area, there is a lot of people inside. We are okay though, we are adventurers and we can handle ourselves alright. But I'm not sure if all these guys inside here are made of the same stuff as us. And of course... God! <laughs> yeah, as, captain as the captain mentioned, here we have spiders the size... Not of horses, of freaking elephants! What, an elite master? Yeah! Yeah, oh man! I'm starting to think this might have not been a good idea. 
If that's the spiders, God, the trolls are, are even worse. So let us. There are a few deeds to complete in here apart from the exploring and uh, the quest deeds. This one. There are some ex extra explorer deeds in here too. Elven ruins left behind from days long ago when the forts of Lorien and Fangor met across the Limlight River. You did ancient ruins of the Limlight. We need to find six of them. But that requires us to be really careful with where we go to. God, I didn't expect these guys to be so... so strong. An elite? I think I can take on, no problem. An elite master? I wouldn't be so sure. Oh my god, and they have a long range for aggro! Jesus! He resisted it? Come on! You seem to be doing pretty all right so far. No. Oh my god, those momentum bops are the worst. There's no way you can survive that kind of stuff. Titan Slayer, oh god, thank you. We survived that. It was not that easy. Defeat huge enemies in the Limblight Gorge. Yeah, but not today, I believe. So yeah, that momentum buff that they get, that, that, that can build up to insane amounts of damage. So it's safe to avoid the trolls, at least. I don't remember if the spiders have that buff too. But let us try and avoid that for as long as we can. Otherwise I think I will need to trade blue to be able to survive this, but it will take that much longer. But yeah, I think if I go blue, I can totally take these guys down. The old sawmill. What do you want? Well, I do not know as I have any proper work for you. The old mill is in rough shape, but nothing me and my folk cannot put to right with a bit of dwarf ingenuity. The only problem now is that all of the others seem to have wandered off and lost track of the time or some such. None of them have come back from their jobs out in the gorge. Might you lend me an ear? We will have this mill up and running in no time and be shipping lumber up to Stangar by the wagon load. The trees around here have fine hard wood, but the locals are too afraid of the forest to cut it down. Can you imagine that? The only trouble is that most of my companions seem to have wandered off while surveying the area around the mill. I was wondering if you could help round them up for me. There are two in particular, Timbart and Billy. They are the youngest. So I am worried that they might have gotten themselves lost in the gorge. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? Billy wandered off hours ago. He is a childhood friend of Finbart's, so I expect they went off together. I think Billy hoped to explore the southeastern stretch of the gorge, so he is likely over there somewhere poking about. He just lost all track of time, I suspect. Come and stay him. Our youngest companion, Finbart, wandered off hours ago. He said he was going to check out some stands of lumber nearby. I have not heard back from him since, and I expect the young fool has gotten himself lost. If you want to make yourself useful, 
You can go find him and show him the way back to the mill. I got a bad feeling about this. Please let me be wrong about this. At the very least, let me avoid the trolls. That's what I am more scared about. Now, here we have some elf ruins, so I think... Falling Tower. Yeah, we have a bandit coffer. Elusive Phantasm. What is this? That's for another quest, I would presume. Other of the deeds. That is... Related here to the Limelight Gorge. Okay. So, who do we have here? Finbarth. Oh god, I don't like that. How that looks. Oh, Jesus! My father's spirit, that was a close one. My thanks, stranger, but let's be gone from here and back to the mill before this cursed tree start eyeing me again. Okay, so the horns are kinda tricky, but totally doable. So that's good. And here we have Billy too. Is being guarded by this tree, it seems. Yeah. Uh, stop resisting my dots, please. That was a terror and no mistake. I fear that Armin's plan to make Lambert of the Streets may not pan out as he hopes. We'd best be on our way! Yeah, please, don't make this harder for us. Another elusive phantasm. And I know there's something you need to do with the spirits, but God, I don't remember what it was. But yeah, once again, horns, totally doable. You, you need to be very careful of what you do, but it's totally doable. Trolls, one at a time, one every 10 or 15 minutes, so that you can have your full arsenal available for them. And even then, you might be risking it a lot. Yeah, let us try to avoid some of these guys. The 
it is an insult! My thanks to you again, but Armin did not believe a word of my tale. He says that I have been sneaking from the cakes before heading out and tripped on some bramble. Bramble! The nerve! If he were not my second cousin, I would knock him up a side ahead with a keg. What is the meaning of this? Hail Barathon, and thank you for your help. Can you believe it though? Armin thinks we are making things up, trying to slip out of work like some lazy Darhan. We will see how long he manages to keep his beard up on his face when he tries to take an axe to one of those trees out there. Well met! Well, it seems that you have managed to gather up the two young ones. That is something, anyway. If we can just find the other three now, we should be able to get this old meal up and running in no time. They know better than to get lost like this, but Gerfin, Darfi, and Dolmund have all disappeared on me as well. Might you lend me an ear? Darfi is the finest woodcutter I know. That dwarf could chop down an old oak in five minutes flat, I tell you. I sent Darfi out to survey some stands of old oak off to the northwest of it, but that should not have taken but a little while. Well, I'm afraid something is holding him up. Maybe he spotted some more up in the cliffs or some such. I need him back here so I can get his thoughts on our prospects in the gorge. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? My brother Dolmund headed west some hours ago. He said he was going to head up river towards the falls at the head of the gorge, looking to cut away any debris that might follow the sand mill's wheel once we get it up and running. The trouble is, I have not heard from him since. It seems that even my own full of a brother cannot be trusted on his own. Might you lend me an ear? Now, Gervin is gone as well. Can you believe it? These dwarfs would lose track of their own heads if they were not stuck in place. I expect some work or goblin would solve that problem for them in no time if they did not have me to help guide them. Garfin was heading to the north to look for some materials, but I need him back here to help get this place fixed up, or we will never get it running. It's not that easy. Steambart and Billy, but no, they don't have any quests. That's just a glitch. As long as I don't need to find any trolls once again, gonna be okay. So where's this dwarf we're looking for? Here, ah, oh. root. Ah, loaded for Christ's sake. Oh my god, but this is a nemesis. Oh god, no wonder it's giving me so much trouble. Oh, come on. I'm here, Christ. Ah!
Where did you where did you take me? Oh come on, really? Yeah, I hadn't realized that Horn was a nemesis level. That it's uh, another another thing entirely. Yeah, I'm not sure I can do that. This isn't as simple as I believed. Yes. Okay, so troll there. Let's try and avoid that guy. Okay, the prospector's shack. No. No! Run! Oh, come on! Oh, stupid injury! Run for your life! Get out of there! Lose it! He's... God, I get tired eventually of chasing you up. Yeah. Go away. I don't want anything with you. You found the Prospector Shack. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Will you aid the Horse Lords? Forgive me for my desperate plea, stranger, but my expedition has fallen to ruin and most of my companions have been set up upon by trolls. Oh, come on. I pray that you can aid me, for my livelihood, too, is in ruin. Unless I can salvage something from this disaster. Everything was going well, too, until the trolls caught us. The Rohirrim have need of your services. Oh, come on. Thank goodness you have come. It was only a matter of time before those trolls came for me too. They tore all the others apart and took everything. It was a disaster. You look to be heroic warriors. Please help me avenge my friends and finish the expedition we started. If I can just complete the map we were making, then I could at least sell that to the dwarves or a rich Rohirrim lord and return home. Something inside? Anything? No. Oh god. Well, I hadn't realized, but... We did take a lot of time today, and I think we have run out of time for today's episode. <laughs> Sorry if I took a little bit extra. In any ways, thank you for watching today's episode of Cyril the Garden Adventures. Join me next time, we'll continue doing our best against the enemies of the Limelight Gorge and hopefully emerge victorious. For the time being, my friends, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until then, stay safe, take care, good luck to you all, and I will meet you later.